What's up, readers? Hey, just like in real life, the characters that are in our books often have different perspectives than each other. I mean, look all around us. It's almost like no one agrees with each other. And sometimes in books, in the same situation, the same thing happens. And the only way to overcome it is with role playing. Let's check it out. Okay, readers, I bet I kind of freaked you out just a little bit. Having to role play, act, pretend to be somebody else? I know. Don't worry, though. You're going to be in your little breakout rooms and be safe and sound. The idea that we really need to understand is that it can be challenging to understand why someone has the perspective they do. And to help us understand, in this case, to help us understand where that character is coming from, we are going to try to have our partners decide who's going to be um, the boy in this story and who's going to be the old lady. Now, I'm going to pause the video once we start at a certain point. And at that point, then, you're going to break into role playing. Okay, readers, hang tight. We're going to watch the video now. And when I pause it, be ready. You're going to break into your role playing characters at that point. You don't need them decided for right now. For now, we're just going to watch the video. So <clears throat> this really isn't too difficult. One of you needs to be partner one and you're just going to pretend to be uh, the old lady. I think I might have said that opposite before that partner one was the, the boy. So partner one, old lady, you're just going to tell your partner, who, partner number two, who's the, who's the um, teenager in this video, like what you're feeling and thinking. You need to really try to imagine what she's thinking, how she's feeling, and represent her. In the same way, partner two, as the teenage boy, we assume teenager, maybe he's older, um, you're going to give your perspective. Um, we don't know too much beyond um, what we've seen here from the boy in their interaction. Um so it's hard to say exactly what his perspective is. So partner two, you're just going to try to say what you're thinking and feeling. 
as best you can. And if you really want some bonus points, feel free to add some sort of why you little mangy voice in there to help us feel what you're thinking. Go ahead and pause the video now while you do that. Give that video a pause and then play it again. Give that video a pause and then play it again. I'm gonna give that video a pause and then you're gonna play it again. I'm gonna give that video a pause and then you're gonna play it again. All right, welcome back. Now, in our previous work, we have talked about how as we go in a story, we find out more details, and that can change what we think the character's perspective is. So continue to watch and now watch closely in this video to see if we can't pick up more details about why they are the way they are and why they're acting the way they are. Okay, uh, partners, now's your time to role play again. Make sure you each have an opportunity to say what you're feeling and thinking. Go ahead and pause the video. Give that video a pause and then play it again. I'm gonna give that video a pause and then play it again. I'm gonna give that video a pause and then you're gonna play it again. play it again okay readers welcome back i bet that when we talked the first time we role played it was really hard for the person who was the the boy hard to justify your actions for why you're acting the way you are the second time i bet it was a much different feeling i bet that in your mind you were very justified there were obvious reasons that we saw for why now the boy was acting the way he was. In fact, like we've talked before, there was probably an epiphany moment for you as you watch this to where you finally understood where the boy was coming from. So because of this now, you were able to represent more fully your character's perspective. This scene that we saw here in this little video is something that happens in everyday life and it absolutely happens in our stories. In order to become a more empathetic reader, to have empathy for your characters, it's important to pause and consider your thinking about the characters and the events that happened and see if you can't understand where the character is coming from. 
I think it'll help you be an empathetic reader, but it might help you become more of an empathetic person, which, hey, that's never hurt our society, having more empathetic people, has it? Okay, uh, readers, so uh, before I tr send you away to uh, consider your work for today uh, in reading your book, it's important that we highlight what it was we kind of discovered today. So up here on the screen, here's the big takeaway. These are moments when characters display vastly different perspectives on one event. So then based upon that and us maybe noticing that in a book like, man, I could think of so many times in, yes, Harry Potter, where Hermione is freaking out about something that's going on and Ron and Harry are just like, yo, chill. <laughs> like, they have different perspectives, and we need to understand where the characters are coming from. So therefore, the first question that's going to help us with that is, how can I imagine the mindset of these characters? So to me, the mindset is sort of like a little bit of what characters want, like what their goal is. Um, the other one, which I think can have even more power than the first one, but they do go together, is what is shaping this character's perspective? And when I hear what shapes someone's perspective, to me, that's all talking about their environment and their past experiences. So for Hermione, you know, her parents are dentists and they're muggles. If you don't know what that means, basically, her parents are very high achieving people. They want to do well and they want Hermione to do well and have really pushed her to make sure she's doing well. And so that's probably shaped the kind of person that she is. So with that in mind, as you're reading, we need to be paying attention to moments where there are vastly different perspectives on an event from two characters. You may be able to think back to an event that's previously happened in your story. And if you need to do that, that's totally fine. And then make sure you ask the questions that we just talked about. Mindset and what shapes the character's perspective. And make sure you answer those questions for yourself. And hopefully you can understand why the two perspectives are so different. It might just make you a better reader. And more importantly, it might just make you a better person. All right, until I see you next time, happy reading.